Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile here. Microsoft just released the Bing for iPad app and we thought we'd take you on a little walkthrough. As you can see, nice big picture, search bar, and categories down here. Uh, let's, it rotates to landscape. I'm going to show you it in this mode just because it, I think it's a pretty app and this takes advantage of the screen a little bit better. As you can see, search bar, search history, let's look for Into Mobile. You can see the auto suggestions, auto population of results as well. This is cool. So as your related searches, and that's actually not, you don't have that on the portrait mode. So that's interesting. Once you see the results, you click it and it gets to a browser, in-app browser if you want to, into mobile. Into mobile. The voice recognition software is powered by Tell Me, which Microsoft owns. So that's here. Uh, if you that's does the web and this is also a filter for news. So that's kind of cool. You see the little animation coming in. And as I said, once you click on the result, it kicks you to an in-app browser. Uh, Wi-Fi might be a little spotty, so but there you go. Cool site. This is the home button, this is the category buttons, we're actually going to walk through those, so we'll talk about those in a minute. Settings, safe search, search suggestions, all that stuff. So this is what makes this, these categories down here is what makes the Bing for iPad app better than just a normal search app. You have your weather here, as you can see it's cool interface, what, thunderstorms, you can see that, and if you notice that, what you can do is you can swipe and bring back the previous page that you were at just by dragging the corners. See that one back to that search and as you, if you recall these are everything that I did previous prior to this. So this little sidebar is not existent when it rotates. So that's what I wanted to show you in landscape. Okay, so there's the weather. Let's go back to the home screen. News app, I'm pretty fond of. Just because I like the interface and, you know, I like to get my news. As you can see, top stories, world, U.S., business, anything you want. You know, you scroll through. Scroll through, you hit, kicks you to a browser. Oh, I want to... This is cool, but I want to see what else was there. Instead of hitting a back button, you just go like, oop, you just grab the sides. Or if you want to go back to the weather, you do that. Let's see, maps. It's about what you'd expect from Bing Maps. Uh, this little sidebar is there, again, in landscape mode. That's roughly where I am. So I'm a little bit hungry, even though it's early. It's 9.47. Thai food. So here are some of the results. You can see it light up green as I as I tip as I tap it. Jitlada is amazing. So I wanna get directions. And there you go. You know? If I want to go back to that page, this is that whole interaction method works throughout the app. Movies is also pretty cool. This little sidebar is there. But it's, it won't be there if you're holding it like this. Uh, same, similar UI to some of the other apps. If you want to click through to, let's see, Rango. That's kind of cool. You get this information. You get where it's playing near you, reviews. You get to watch trailers, if that's what you like. Plays within the QuickTime player. Yeah, so you get the idea. Once again, switching back and forth. Let's go to the trends. This is uh, an exclusive for this Bing app, and it's actually pretty neat. It shows you 
what is hot today using Bing's algorithm? What are people searching for? What? So this guy's jumping a cow. Is that a lady? Uh, Van Damme snubbed. Bill and Ted 3 was actually in my search history just because I was looking at this. They're trying to make one. So that's kind of cool. It's, it's a nice interface and it's a good way to keep up with the zeitgeist of the internet, if you will. And then you can also go to yesterday, see what was cool then. And it's uh, just, just a cool way to see what's hot. And then finance here. This just gives you track of some of your stocks. I just added Goog, even though I don't own them. And then you can see that updates in real time. So, neat little app from Microsoft here. Bing for iPad, available today, and it's free. Thank you.